SpaceX now targeting Trump. Democrats in the House are weaponizing their constitutional powers once again, this time spending taxpayer dollars on Team Trump using Trump properties. That is a hit piece. And so you can see where this is going. Emoluments. The Democrats are still trying to prove that the president is violating the emoluments clause of the Constitution. Pay no attention to Medicare and Social Security going broke and the government going BK. They've got to investigate emoluments. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, um, I'd like to say thank you to the Democrat Party for bringing up even the term emoluments. 99% of Americans probably didn't know what emoluments was. They probably go into their pocket uh, constitution like I have right here, and they probably look up what emoluments is. And if they understand and they read the Federalist Papers and they understand what the framers, why they put emoluments in there, it's not to keep the president from making a dime while he's president of the United States. It's to keep ambassadors from being bribed by other heads of state. Graham, that's exactly correct, and this is a clause that, as best as I can tell, has never been enforced in the history of our glorious American Republic. Keep in mind, uh, the idea is the president or similar representatives of the federal government cannot profit off their job beyond their salaries, i.e. getting bribed. The irony is, and this is so amazing, the Clintons came to the White House broke. Yep. They left the White House, according to Bill Clinton, $16 million in debt, and now they're worth 50 to 100 million. The Obamas came to the White House as community organizers broke, and now they're buying mansions all over the place. Nobody wants to know where their money came from. Trump came to the White House a billionaire. He still is, and he's donating his salary every quarter. Doesn't get any points for it. No. He's the first president to have ever done that. But, as you said, Let's go find another reason to go after Trump because, hey, that Mueller thing didn't work out so well. Yeah, it's a total double standard. And again, the Emoluments Clause is about allegiance to the United States Constitution, allegiance to our government and not a foreign entity. That's what the Emoluments is all about. There's another investigation, though, um, and this one is about something I'm, I know that the president meant tongue in cheek. When he was talking about, hey, we got to build the wall, you got to figure out a way, even if you have to break the law and I have to pardon you, it's something I would say or something you would say kind of just in passing. But no, the Democrats are now investigating. I think what we really need to do here, Barry, is investigate why the Democrats in Congress will not fund the wall and fund robust border security. Boy, is that the question that nobody wants to ask. Trump's comments that you're referring to were, like you said, somewhat humorous, but he was really sending the message, Graham, look, there are laws on the books that the Dems do not want to let you enforce. Please go enforce them regarding illegal immigration. Keep the people out that the law says can't come in unless they follow the rules. And if along the way you get in trouble, I'll have your back. Here's the irony, Graham. This Dem new talking point of the last year or so, which is open the borders, everyone should come here, it's their right, as if God gave Guatemalans American rights. And yet, the majority, the vast majority of Americans want the borders protected, they want the immigration laws followed, and that includes a high preponderance of Hispanic Latinos who have come here legally and have gotten their papers legally. They don't want the people coming after them knocking down the border fence to climb in and follow them. So. Trump is just saying, hey, you guys at the border, please enforce the law. I have your back. And instead of the Dems winning points from the majority of Americans, which they could on this issue, yes. they're attacking the president for wanting the law that Congress passed to be enforced. Oh, the irony. Just remember, Barry, these are pieces to the puzzle of this hyper-constitutional effort to impeach the president of the United States. I don't think Nancy Pelosi will ever allow it to actually be a constitutional impeachment with the, the process unfolding in the House of Representatives, but she's going to allow this what I call hyper 
constitutional uh, impeachment inquiry to continue all the way through, unfortunately, the November 2020 election. Barry, thanks.